Hello, this is Dynasu. Today, I'll be explaining the algorithm behind my Sudoku solver on Scratch. This Sudoku solver is my newest project on Scratch. Here is a video of me using the project. I simply enter a puzzle and then the program solves it for me. But how does this work? The solution to this puzzle of solving Sudoku puzzles is a type of algorithm called a backtracking algorithm. Note that this algorithm is not intended for solving by hand, as it requires thousands of calculations, but it works great for computers. Suppose you are trying to solve this Sudoku puzzle. The first step is to find the first blank space, and here it is. Then put a 1 there. If this does not break the puzzle, keep it there. In the next blank square, put a 1, also. Here you can see that this is not a valid Sudoku placement, because it breaks the board. There was another 1 in the row. Therefore, you must increment the 1 until you find something that works. Here, a 2 works in that spot. We'll keep the 2 there. After that, do the same thing in the next blank space. Here, a Wilson doesn't work, nor does a 2 nor a 3, but a 4 works, so we'll keep it there. You probably see the pattern, but here's the process you would do on the next space. As you can see, an 8 is the lowest number that works here. I won't walk through each number for the next space, but the first number that works is a 9. In the next space, though, we have a problem. If we go through the numbers, we see that none of the numbers from 1 to 9 work. This is where backtracking comes in. We're going to put nothing in this space. Now we have to go back to the last space we already put something in and increment that to the next number that works. But wait, the last space is a 9, so we can't increment it. So we remove the 9 from that space and go back to the last space before that. There's an 8 in that space, so we'll change it to a 9 because 9 is the first number after 8 that works in that space. Okay, so now we're going to find a number that works in this space, the next space. Uh-oh, there isn't a number that works there, so we don't put anything there. Increment the last space, which is a 9, so we remove that space and go back to the last, and increment that. 5 doesn't work, so we try 6, and it works. In the next space, the first number that works is a 4. In the next space, the first one that works is a 9. You see where this is going. Just repeat this process. If at any point the board is filled and the last edited square is valid, then it's solved. But how do you know if it's impossible? If you ever get into a situation where the first edited square is a 9 and you are forced to increment it because the next edited square after that is also a 9 and that is invalid, then the original puzzle is impossible to solve. Now that you know the algorithm the project uses, I'll play the video again. You can clearly see the backtracking happening. I hope you now know how to programmatically solve any Sudoku puzzle. Comment below or on my Scratch profile with any questions you may have. Thank you for watching.